Well, good evening. Okay, hello, hello, Carlos Antonio. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Mm, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm okay. Okay, how was your day? It was if, if it was an interesting day because today I did a different routine after oh, really? work. Yeah, after work, I went to the gym. Oh, but now nice. I, I feel my, my body is a little bit painful. Okay, what did you work today in the gym? Muscles. Okay, you were working what? Bicep, shoulders, tricep. Shoulder and bicep. Oh, well, the same as me. That was my routine today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, start, nice. I started with bicep and then I jumped into shoulder. Okay. Teacher, I'm not, I, I don't have so much vocabulary about gym. Gym okay. stuff. Okay. Tell me, which exercise did you do? How do you say repeticiones? Repetitions. Okay. Uh, do you ask me about what exercise do, did I know or do I know? Did you do? Today. Which one did you do? Muscle. Okay, I will I will tell you. I will tell you. I was I started working by So I mm -hmm. started uh let's see. I started lifting weight with the bar, with the long bar. Okay. Uh, just, just a little weight because the bar weighs like 35 pounds. So I put uh, 15 per side. Okay. Then okay. Uh, to continue with biceps, I, I work with uh, dumbbells. What is the meaning? Dumbbells. Okay. Uh, I, I did like one, I know. two, three, four different exercises with them. What is, what is, what is Merbolos? Is, 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 a, is Mancuerna? Dumbbells, dumbbells. But there is no mer, Merbolos in the gym. No. No, 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 no. And then, then I jump into shoulder. I was lifting. Again, sitting okay. down, I was lifting with the bar and just a little bit, uh, let's see. How many hours do you, do you spend in the gym? One hour and a half. Okay. Well, now, tomorrow I start another routine. Tomorrow I will go 
around two hours and a half per day. Okay, well, teacher. we will see, we will see I because think... it's just that I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm gonna quit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to quit the gym. I don't like it because it's too, too painful. It's too painful. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. But it's good for you. I think so. Yeah, it is good. Uh, what, I, what I hate doing is abs. Abs I, is, 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 yeah. is when you yeah. Yeah. push out. It's different. Yeah, no. Abs is the muscle. The okay. muscle. Abs. I hate doing abs. Trabajar abdomen. I hate that. It hurts. I know. Yeah, it is hard because but, you can you can sleep and you can lay down on your bed sometimes. Oh yeah, no, and it's, it's difficult terrible. to to go up. <laughs> yeah, no, that's terrible. That's completely terrible. Yeah, tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow I will work, uh, oh, tomorrow is going to hurt because I need to do legs, back, and tricep. What about le le legs? Yeah, legs. So you do I legs often? Yeah. Twice a week, two times a week. Twice a week. So every day is different routine. Yeah. Every day got to be. It's just that you do one muscle today. You need to let them that muscle right today. Two days a week. Yeah, twice a week. Twice a twice, week. Twice a week. Yeah, but it's okay. it's good. I, I mean, it's good when you when you get the rhythm. It's good. You don't like to run. No. No, no, that's not for me. No, I'm not good at to do cardio. I mean, that thing hurts. Do you have any pet? Yeah, it's a little dog like this. Oh. <laughs> okay, teacher. That's why I go to the gym because I don't usually do so much at home. And if I don't, yeah, but I don't work. I don't work out. I mean, I'll be you honest, don't like I to don't... stay under under stress. You don't like to be under stress. No, I mean I got a lot of stress now with my job, so I need to 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 unwind a little bit. It is mandatory. It's necessary. Yeah, we need to do different routine every day. Yeah, we do. We do. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 Gabriel, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? Thank, uh, thank God. So, surviving, 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 everything. Day by day, day by day. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And tell me, what happened with the with the with the with the thing you were doing, with the, with everything you were doing. Because I remember yesterday you say, you said that, that you had a little problem yesterday with the shipment, right? Um, shipment, uh, fine. Uh, problem in, in I let, como se dice, eh, in a uh, grand company in 
gran ¿cómo puedo decir? Una, en una gran compañía, una gran empresa. In a big company. In a big company, like the one we work for everything happens at the end of the year. Yeah, the end of the year. And more when the company does not owe anything, anything to to employees. Yeah. Uh, entonces ellos pues tranquilos lo le dicen a uno andate ya. Yeah. yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Well, that's normal, you know, we have to make it. Okay, well, welcome to the class, nice having you here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks to you for making the effort. Let's see. Uh, 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 um, Jose, Jose Ortiz, hello. Antonio Rodas, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine, teacher. How's everything? How was your day? Uh, a little hard for uh, less than, than yesterday. Okay. At least less than yesterday. That's something. That's something, right? Yes, teacher. It's rarely, but yes, I a little, a little relaxed. But the almost time I most of I the time, the most, most of, of the time, time, but most of the time I get stressed. Yeah, what can we do, right? Yes, but for the moment I. I okay, teacher. Okay, well, it's nice. It's good to have you here. Yes, teacher. Okay, and tell me, what time did you get home? Did you get home today? Today, and today I I get home a little late. Let me think. At six p.m., teacher. At six p.m. Oh. Yes, well, but uh, that because uh, I I have problem in in fields. I have problem in the in the morning in the morning with my car. The the horn was flat, flat, flat. Yes, so I I you can you I can say it like this. You can say it like this. I got a flat tire. Repeat, please, teacher. I got a flat tire. Okay, thanks for me, teacher. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. I got, I got a flat, flat tire. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. It was in the in the morning. So I I have to change the the flat. Okay. And, and today, after the world, I I pass all the prepare fix the another flat and changing in the same plane. Yeah, it takes time. Yes, teacher. This is the reason for I I get home a little late. Okay. Well, but the good thing is that. You are here today. You have dinner already, I imagine. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, maybe any uh, 30 minutes ago, I get dinner. Oh. Yes. That's nice. What did you have for dinner? Tell me. Uh, for uh, today, just a uh, bread with eggs. Bread and, 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 and some fruit, for example, uh, papaya. I don't know how do you say in English papaya. Pawpaw, pawpaw. 
Papa. Oh, Papa. Yes. And in Guayaba. Guava. Guava. <laughs> Guava. Number rarely teacher. Papa when ra and guava. Hey, I, I, I have never. How do you say? I have never heard that name. I have never. I have never heard. I have never heard. Nah. That's yeah, those are weird, right? Some brothers. Yes, and only that, and also in the principal water. Oh yeah, no, that's necessary. Yes, only that is. Okay, well, no, that's very healthy. Yes, I I take care of my my health. That's good. That's good. Eh? That's excellent, yes. actually. Every day, every day, uh, in the morning, I I drink a water glass. A glass of water. A glass of water every day, in the morning, and mm -hmm. and also when I when I get uh, work, when I have great breakfast, and also okay. I. Drink I drink water too, and yeah. I, I, I drink. I have a a cup of coffee until nine a.m. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah, you gotta, you got to drink a lot of water. That's very important. Yes, in the for for the lunch, uh, I drink water too. For lunch, for lunch. For lunch. Oh, okay, thank you. For lunch too. Okay, I try. Great. I'm trying to take my health to share. <clears throat> and the, yeah. every day I I I eat some fruit. Okay, that's nice. Yes, I'm trying. I'm trying to share. Okay. Because, that's what because... we have to do. We have to try to make it better every day. Yes, I, I try. Evitar la grasa, how do you say? Avoid, avoid fat. Uh, and try avoid fat. Mm, that's cool. Antonio, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Let's see, let me get the attendance, guys. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present, teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Chesenia Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Sistenia. Thank you, Oscar. Wilfredo Areva Lortir. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Fernández. Present, teacher. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present, teacher. 
Okay. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Let's continue. Hey, Magdaleno, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am at home. Uh, I am at home, relaxed. Yeah, it's so weird to see you at home this early at night. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, you are always on the move, my friend. That is good for me. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, yes. Your job is you to be like on the move all the time. Almost, um, most of the time. Most of Excellent. the time I have to move, making uh, purchases, uh, visiting some people, having a meeting in different places, something like that. Nothing, all, nothing out of the normal things. Yeah, well, but I mean, it's part of the game, right? It's part, yeah. Good, Is that teacher? Excellent. Hey, that's teacher, excellent. I yes, sure. I have troubles with with some exercise in platform, and then oh. the first exercise and play maybe in, in week number two or I don't remember what is that. I am finding a uh, searching in my computer. Maybe oh. at the end of of the class. Stay, stay at the can, end. Could stay you a few minutes me? at the end. Yeah, of course, loudly. Amen. Thank you. No problem, really, no really, I don't do that. I don't did that. I, I didn't, didn't do. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here to help. Don't worry. That's my job. It's okay, teacher. And today is Thursday. Is Thursday again? Yeah, it's incredible. Is Thursday. Tell me about it. I mean, time flying. <laughs> yeah, of course. And we Things have to a do, well, bills to pay. <laughs> yeah, that is right. <laughs> and actually, we have only one week more, right? We finish on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we finish. Yeah, only um, just one week. Yeah, and by the way, you received today in the WhatsApp group. Uh, you received the notification that about the new module. Yes, you need I to received. Send your, you need to send your information for before, let's see, December the name. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, I have remember, it. Remember that, that uh, the situation is this. In December, we have a uh, less days to process all the information because mm -hmm. of Instaport's uh, calendar. So we need to run with that info. So if you can send it the soon as possible, the best. And also, mm -hmm. um, let's see, let's see also, oh, you need to, 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 you need to make the evaluation for your teacher. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that that's optional, mm -hmm. but it's good to see if I am doing a good job or if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not, they're going to tell me. No, but it's, <laughs> it's always good. There's always a, a chance to improve, but the, the, the paperwork, yeah, that's important. It's okay. Paperwork, so we can. The idea is this: the sooner you send the info, the earliest we, the earliest we can start on on January. Because mm -hmm. remember, you are going to rest like for three weeks and something, and that's good cool because you are resting. Yeah, but that's bad because you are not practicing. Yes, it's so important. Yeah, have a the english classes every day because i i think so that uh, i think that when we not, we don't practice we we less practice <laughs> when nosotros perdemos prácticas como dijera perder we practica? lose practice we we'll lose practice. practice 
Okay, we'll lose practice. And the word um we'll lose I the verb lose lose is in past. In, in present, what is that? Lose in present it's lose. In past it's lost. Lose and lost. Okay. The question the situation is that um we lose uh, we lose word when when we don't practice. And when we yeah, speak again, say, don't say we lose words, we lose vocabulary. Oh, we lose vocabulary. We lose vocabulary when the, we don't practice. And then we have uh, we have to speak with other people. We are dusty. Yeah, well, I, I mean, believe me, that happens to all of us. It happens, mm. to me, I mean, because I will finish. Uh, working December 17th, no, December 18th, Sunday. That's mm -hmm. my last day of work. And then I start back again in January. For me, those, those two weeks, those two, three weeks, they feel so long because I mean, uh, the opportunities to practice are less. I mean, I can speak with my son here at home, but it, it's not the same. It's not same, right? Because I mean, uh, it's different with you guys. I mean, you tell me about your life, you tell me about your jobs. We see different vocabulary. Uh, we practice in a different environment, and that's also, I mean, important and necessary also for me. Yes, I understand that. That's right. That is right. And then the situation well, is that we have we need vacation, right? Yeah, you need vacation. it's also good to have vacation. Yes, I will rest maybe to uh, this on December twenty five and December oh and January first. Maybe I will. Maybe I will rest. I don't know. I am thinking about it. You are thinking about it. Yep. Now, let's hope. Let's hope everything goes okay for you, my friend. Yep, <laughs> right. Magdalena, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Ivania, hello, good evening. Hmm. Perhaps. Miss Tizumara, hello. Hello, dear. Welcome, Ivania. We were missing you yesterday. Working a lot. Oh, I guess you might have had problems with the connection. But there's Luis Mario Criollo. Hello, how are you, mister? Hello, teacher. Everything's good. And you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? Well, uh, a little flu. I have a little flu. <laughs> but I think it's the change in the weather. Okay. And tell me, what's new today? How was the work? What time did you get home? Today, I get my home around 7.30 because I, I have, I have to, to, to come with my, with my mom from the hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. But Everything okay, I expect. Yeah, it's, it's only... Uh, controls, uh, general control in the hospital. Hospital. Okay. Okay. Well, there's, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, because we get worried always for the parents, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's necessary. But the good news tomorrow is Friday. Oh, and, yeah. And now we, we, we are in. December, right? 
the yeah. best the best month for the Express, oh yeah the bonus christmas bonus. the bonus yeah the bonus for the end of the year yeah and i have vacation actually in in the last week uh, on this month I have you got vacation, vacation. So. that's yes. great. Yes, yes, yes. So that's I excellent. Have, I have so visit uh, Guatemala in that week. Okay, okay. You're going to Guatemala, that's nice. Traveling yes. is okay. Yeah, I'm planning on going perhaps I don't know if going at the end of the year or perhaps in January to Guatemala to the family. Oh, but Do I have, have to drive. In this month? Yeah. Yeah, but the problem is this. I don't like going out in December because everywhere is packed. Yeah. And I try to avoid crowds, you know? Yes, I understand. Yeah, but for example, Antigua Guatemala is very full in this this date yeah of course of course it's terrible yeah. but people like it people go people enjoy it yeah it's part of the the environment holy the the, the christmas right yeah yeah, you are right. Let's see. Sure, I have a, a question. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah, tonight I pass for for the activity to share with with you. Yes, let's see. Let me check. Hold for on, tomorrow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are number twelve or eleven. Twelve. Yeah, tonight is Gabriel. Gabriel is going to be the first tonight in a few minutes. Tonight is Gabriel and Carla, Luis Antonio Abrego, Luis Mario, Magdaleno, and Nelson Antonio Roda. Yep. Those are the ones for today. So, okay, yes, nice. you got it tonight. Okay. Welcome to the class, Luis Mario. Nice having you. Thank you. And let's see. I still got time. Still got time. Carla, Carla Lisset. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very You're good. Fine. Yes. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. How was your day? Mm. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you say, tranquilo? Calm. Come? Calm. Calm. Okay. So you had an easy day. So one day, tranquilo. An easy day. An easy day. Yes. Okay, that's great. That's actually excellent. I'm so glad to hear it. And tell me, what time did you get home? Mm -hmm. Carla, oh, it's, you're it's busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch. No problem, no problem. We can talk later, okay? ¿A qué hora llegué hoy? Pregunta, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, ah, exactly. Okay. Uh, seven. Tell. 
at 7.30. Yes. Mm -hmm. PM. Oh, that's late. So you just arrived. You haven't have you haven't had dinner yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so bad, so bad. Well, but the good thing is that you are here. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Good to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Well, guys, Gabriel, the time has come, my friend. Okay. Okay, good evening, teacher and partner. Uh, I have introduced myself, myself. As you know, my name is Gabriel Beltran. I live in San Luis Talpa in Colonia Divina Providencia. This is the Department of La Paz. I am 44 year old. Oh. My wife, my wife, name is Haiti Lobos. We have been married, married 15 years, and we love each, each other very much thank God uh, we we already have offering a beautiful 14 year old baby very intelligent thank God uh, this year they gave recognition to the highest honorable honorable mention and I feel very very much very proud 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 I have been working at uh, John Juan El Salvador for 17 years. I am a supervisor of the packing and shipping department. I, I like what I do. I consider myself a person who them, them, them. The man, the man, mine, mine, the man, the man, no, the man. The maximum every day. I believe in love, honesty, fidelity, and mutual respect. I don't believe in look in I believe in effort in work, but not in look. Luck, luck, luck. I hate politics. Politica, politics. I hate politics. I hate, I hate politics. Uh, they not help. They use the advantage of the need or the poor. 
Well, well, that's part of me. I am very interested in learning English. Uh, feel good. I can make make it, make it, make it, make it. I mean, ojalá, ojalá. Yeah. <laughs> I wish, I wish. Uh -huh. From now, from now on, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous year 2023. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Gabriel. Perfect. No, it was well done. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> okay. That's Thank the you. way. Step by step. Step by step. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. After Gabriel's presentation, we go to conversation part. If you noticed in the WhatsApp group, I sent you already a couple of, uh, uh, of questions. Well, actually, to be honest, I sent you four questions. And the questions are uh, what kind of aid to the government of rich country give to poor countries, money, food, medicine, machinery, equipment, hospital, schools, training, and uh, that's the first question. The second question, do you think all citizens should be encouraged to do voluntary service overseas so as to understand the problems of poorer countries? Are poor people poor because they, like, they lack opportunities or because they are lazy? What reasons can you think of? And the last one, is it right for rich countries to have strict immigration controls? Why? Okay, now, how we gonna do the exit? I will divide you in four groups. Let's see. Just let me check. Check the groups. Okay, group number one is gonna be Luis Abrego, Luis Mario Criollo, Orlando Núñez, then Oscar Armando Romero. Luis Mario, you are going to be the moderator of that group. It means that we are going to be asking the question, just the question number one, because you are group number one. Just question number one, okay? Okay. You will have five minutes to discuss it and to, in the end, to give me a, an answer per group. Okay, just question number one. Group number two is Carlos Antonio Serrano, Carlos Olivaldo Abrego, Holman Sanchez, and Eugenio. In that group, Carlos Antonio Serrano, you are in charge of the group. Your question is question number two. Okay. Your question, guys, is do you think all citizens should, should be encouraged to do voluntary service overseas so as to understand the problems of poorer countries? In group number three, I got Antonio Rodas, Gabriel Beltran, Jose Ortiz, and Carla Lito Garcia. Antonio Rodas, you are the moderator of group number three. Okay, your question is, are poor people poor because they lack opportunities or because they are lazy? What reasons can you think of? That's your role to play in that group. Okay, Antonio? And group okay. number four is Ivani Echamilio Dominguez, Magdalena Escalante, Marlon Jonathan, and Fiomara. Magdalena, you ready for the moderate perfect excellent so you are going to have seven minutes i want one answer per group well structured okay so be ready guys i send you to the groups any question any help you need give me a holler through the through the through zoom
Maybe you can choose the person that we talk first. Sorry, repeat, please. You can choose the person that we would talk first. Okay. Voy a tratar de comprenderla porque si no, no la comprendo si no no. Which one? Which one is yours? Your group number two, right? Yeah. So you got, do you think all citizens should be encouraged to do voluntary service overseas to us to understand the problems of your country? Imagine you live in a, in a rich country. Let's place ourselves as if we were in a rich country. Do you think all citizens should be encouraged, motivated to do voluntary service overseas to go to another continent? Ah, I, I, to understand the problems of other countries? I, well, I understand the question. Yes, for me, it's, it's okay, it's important, because... Preguntale a Carlita, porque no entiendo todavía bien la pregunta. La 3G are poor people. Bueno, te lo decimos. ¿Lo voy a decir en español? Porque no tienen oportunidad o porque son flojos. ¿Qué razón yes. que te ocurre? Um, I... For me, it's incorrect. Okay, and But... then the, the rich countries are right. They are right. Is right? That is yes. that you are saying. Yes. But the, the country, the strict immigration control is necessary in this country because velar por los, what do you say velar, teacher? To care. For example, for example. Huh? Yeah, to care. You're talking about caring. Okay, care. The, con the, the country care for your people in this, in this country. What do you think about the wall? The wall, wall. Wall? Wall, pared, la pared, el muro. Yeah. What do you say, absurdo? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Absurd. 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 It is absurd. It is absurd. <laughs> It's what the, the most crazy idea, I think. Yes. Yes. Because the, the imagine the people is, is, is the imagination of the person is grande, long, tall. <laughs> for the busy the other country. Yeah, I remember somebody somebody saw, said me that told me told me somebody told me that they they have a, a friend who who passing who passing people through the wall um downside over como es abajo del muro under under the under, wall under the wall under the wall under the under, wall in that case it's underneath because they go like the wall is here they go underneath like you okay. mean like a tunnel yeah a tunnel underneath underneath how do you how do you how do you write um underneath 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 bajo tierra Yeah, underneath. Or you can say underground. Underground. It is that somebody somebody told me something about that. Other one tell me we pass above the the wall. 
Uh, crazy ideas. I, I understand. I, I think that the rich countries, yes, they have to, they have to have a strict immigration control is right. Because, but, but they, maybe sometimes they are exagerados. Exaggerated. Uh, exaggerated because they, um, I don't know, things like that, that like the wall and other things like camera and other things. I think that is exaggerate. I don't know. It's good to have uh, controls, patrols, and other things. The situation is that I am in in hard opposite to the migration. I think that the people is here. They have to work here. They have to give your experience, give your talents, give all the all things, everything that they are inside them, their countries. This is my view, point of view. People don't have to immigrate to other countries, to other rich countries. That's my point of view. I don't know. What do you think about? Yeah. Well, as long as government open the, the opportunities for those people to, to, to develop themselves, remember that uh, something very important is that you have to give the you have to make the situations or the opportunities be open and good for people to stay. I mean, like if you feel safe in your country and if there are good job opportunities, of course you are not going to want to travel. Yeah, actually teacher, actually people who don't 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 <laughs> want work they don't work that is Nowhere. people who don't want to work they don't work here they don't go they don't work in another country yeah they said nah i will go to united states they believe that the bills are the 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 money is is out of trees yeah, he's right. <laughs> they they think things like that. That is incorrect. That is worst. Yeah, I mean, the the pace of life is different. Yeah, that is right. I think that here, if you work hardest and you have and you uh, know the thing, maybe you can be you can live. Uh, um, mothers. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that, you know, I mean, for some people it's a little bit harder to, to, to get the opportunities. Remember that uh, companies, they, I mean, you have to, you have to prepare more people. Some people don't want to to study more and I mean yeah in some richer countries you can make a little bit more because it is necessary in those countries like I mean having a car in the states in some states is mandatory you need yeah. to you have to because it it's not a luxury it, it yes I don't I understand that teacher uh, but uh, people who who don't who who can't uh, think uh, people never never do not never never do nothing or um, never will do nothing is that because i i know people who who stayed 10 years 15 years in united states and they are alcoholic addict drug addict and never build ni siquiera a house. Como dices ni siquiera una casa? Not even. Not even a house. Yes. And I know people 
who who lived two years in United States, and they have um, um, land, they have car, they have house. Yeah, they and have after work. two three years, they come back to El Salvador to live yeah. with your cows, with your um, lands, with your I don't know what more. Yeah, people I know get people like, like that. on business or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> that is the situation. Yeah, and some people, some people just get used to working there. I mean, the thing is that some people they are not prepared to come back and make a living here. Yeah, is that? And My they got so used to of working there of whatever is there that they don't want to come back and make a living here yeah my sister my sister my older sister tell me someday hey i i i, I told to her hey sister when you when you think when you hope to come back to salvador i don't come i don't go back i am not going back i am not going back um Ni muerta. <laughs> they, they, they said me like that. Not even dead. Not even dead. <laughs> she told me that. <laughs> it's, uh, wow, it's terrible. Terrible. That is terrible. I don't I don't go to El Salvador. Yeah, I mean, as you said, some people is like that. Some people are like, no, nope, I'm not going. That's nothing for me. Yep. And okay, is that because immigration controls are right? Yeah. Well, everybody have to take care of of their house, your their countries. Everybody yeah. can have to care that. That okay, should and, be the best. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. wrap it up. Wrap it up. You just have two minutes. Okay, Ivania. And Marlo and then Sumara, what do you think about? No emigraron, tiene que ser complicado poderle dar un nivel académico a sus hijos. Yes, it's, it's a little deep. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds. Orlando, what's it doing to you? Hi, teacher. Well, not much. Uh, I just repeat the test again because I'm missing some some parts for, from them of it. Sorry, because uh, in the test, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, guys. Thank you, by no, Don't worry, don't worry. Well, I already repeat the test again because I'm missing two parts. And a girl who is uh, helped me with my uh, process, and he told she told me that I need to repeat uh, the test again because um, I have a bad, a slow score. No, how do you say bajo? Low, low score. Low score in two parts of a test. So it's because the first part is to recreate a, a scenario. And I already typed some a scenario, <laughs> possible a scenario. So, and the scenario that appeared today is not related to all that I typed in the computer so i was so missing at the at the end i i i improving on it and also with the second part is to make some two chats and that's it that's the only part mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. excellent 
I hope to have good news today, yesterday, no, tomorrow or on Monday. Monday. Okay, excellent. Guys, before we move on, let me get the, the, the attendance, please. Let's see. Um, where is it? Oh, right here. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marvel. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Carlos Olivaldo. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosa Lina Alvarado. Vilma Chesenia Alvarenga. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chambriano Fernández. Thank you, Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Ivania. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, group number one. Who's going to tell me the, the, the answer to the question? Well, actually the question was, let me ask the question again. What kind of aid should the government of rich countries give to poor countries? Money, food, medicine, machinery, equipment, hospitals, Food training. What? What's your answer, guys? Yeah, uh, we talk about the most important help is with the education, uh, with with the schools and hospital infrastructure and a special machine for hospital for help for for example it, that is better than give money because with money uh, generally the government uh, is still right it's still mm -hmm. the, the money so it is better with infrastructure or education Okay, oh, very good, very interesting opinion, thank you. Now let's see, group number two. Carlos Antonio, Carlos Rivaldo, Holman, Orlando, Justenia, who's gonna talk to me, right? What was the answer you got in the end, Carlos Antonio? Okay, teacher. We were talking about, do you think all the citizens should be encouraged to do volunteer? study service overseas so as to understand the problem of the poor country. Yes, we think we need to know about our problem, but I don't think we need to go abroad to understand our problem. If we already know what problem do we have in our country, because 
our problems. It can be the the cult culture because we like to throw garbage on the street, and we need to change that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if we bore poor, doesn't mean we need we have to die poor. Well, yeah, that's uh, a weird statement, right? Yeah, it's, it's a huge statement because there's so many problems, but we need to change ourselves. And then we uh, we need to help each other to change the the country because the government not, is not going to solve everything. We need to put our esfuerzo también effort okay that's that's why we talk because it's a huge statement okay yeah interesting mm -hmm. thank you very much good teacher antonio rodas what was your group answer tell me okay teacher i was talking uh, with my group about are, are poor people poor because they lack opportunities or because they are lazy. Okay. Uh, we have uh, no we talk a lot of a lot of things and different thing thing. But if depends of the family someone someone said if if the family are rich they almost say they give at their son whatever they want for example give money give a free life and and sometimes give car but they father don't sometimes don't teach a uh, the, maybe the correct way to achieve the the goals, and after that, when when they want to get a work, not find a work a because job, maybe a job. A job. Uh, it's because maybe the fathers want give education, but the they they was prefer. Is correct, teacher. They prefer. What's the time in another thing? Spend, spend the time. Spend. Okay, spend the time in another things. And someone says the, the that that some people prefer a, a married another another country for still or looking for for more opportunities. But uh, sometimes I think I think I don't know where is another person. I think in El Salvador we have opportunity, but that that problem is a little a little difficult to get opportunities. Hence, I I said my my partner. Some people prefer immigrant for more uh, opportunities. Easy opportunities, or for more easy money, or easier, easier, easier money. So the uh, some people think that uh, in a suburb we don't have opportunities. Maybe they think because don't 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 get education. Don't prepare. Don't think about the about in a in a future. And when do, when they don't find opportunities, prefer don't work. Maybe this person is is lazy because Maybe. don't search the, the because they don't search a correct way for to get a job. 
I don't know. We sing that teacher. Okay, perfect. Well done, guys. Now let's Thank see. Uh, last group. Magdaleno, what did you talk with your classmate? Tell me. Teacher, we 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 was speaking about um, talking about we are talking about uh, uh, the question: It is right for rich countries to have strict immigration controls, and why? And we say yes, it's correct. Uh, every country ha um, have to have uh, immigration controls but it is not correct that they have to they have to have immigration controls because they have to care their countries for the population and other things i don't know what and the immigration is not correct the immigration is wrong that is not correct there's the other the other point of view because the question is yes and because, because uh, each country have to care their country. Okay. Has to care for their country. Could you repeat that, please? Has to care for, for their country. For. Okay, have to care for the, their country. It is right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, guys. Well, 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 well. Waste and spam. Nelson Arroda, it's asking me what's the difference between waste and spam. Waste is desperdiciar. Spam. Uh, well, it depends if you're talking, what's the context, Antonio? Okay, in my, in, in my group, I, I say, what's the time? What's the, the waste, time? What's the time? The time. Uh -huh. And you told me that is spend, spend time. Oh, because I heard what the time, no wait. The pronunciation of the word is wait. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay. wait. It's because I heard you, you say what, and it's wait the time. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Carla, hello, Carla, how are you? Hello, teacher. Okay, Carla, it's your time. What? It's your time, today is your day for exposition. Oh. One minute, teacher. Okay, one minute. Okay, while well, Carla gets prepared, Luis Mario, please. Okay, nice. Uh, tonight, I want to, to talk about working on, on yourself. It's my topic, my favorite topic. So we have to, to understand that the most important person in this life is yourself. It, it can be understood as ego, but having emotional stability is very important to, to life. And not only emotional intelligence, but also uh, develop or develop 
development new professional skill to uh, achieve or yes is the pronunciation right teacher achieve yeah to achieve to achieve your goals and you can start or, or the first step is defining the person that you want to be in five years for example and work every day to achieve that goal it is never too late to start and and i am sure that to, today you can think that you waste wasted waste time waste waste time wasted time in your past uh, but if you do not make a radical change, you will think the same in the future. And I want, I want uh, you think about the, the biggest goal of your life now, in this moment. What is your biggest goal? Now that you have in mind, think, think about what you can do tomorrow to to achieve that goal and work every day to to achieve achieve it achieve it yeah and that's it teacher okay interesting very interesting thank you very much okay you're welcome carla No encontraba la hojita. Ok, ok, but you're ready now. <clears throat> ok. The shame after the pandemic. The population had to adapt to the use of a mask, the use of alcohol in ya. Alcohol. Alcohol in ya communicate be by video call for person where and that of their families. We have to adapt a change that we did not maintain in a way daily live. For, uh, for example, working from home for many was good and for other, it was not the safe more. So I really had a routine of go to the gym, going out to a discotheque. To the discotheque? Discotheque, meaning uh, with friends, going to restaurant do to do do it to biosecurity bio biosecurity biosecurity restriction for many is was difficult to spend in house we without leaving <clears throat> the change of people with person hiding spend less more money on virtual uh, pushes. I could believe that the ma majority no longer you no longer longer use f physical uh, cash. They no longer go to restaurant or their food at home or cook at home. The economic in, in, in times of pandemic for some people was had, was had but other time little bit little. It declined until, until it is the stable life. 
It's very interesting. Yeah, the changes we have to make and adapt to pandemics, right? Yes. Let's see. Luis Abrego, can you do it tonight? Good evening, teacher. Excuse me. Can you do your presentation tonight or would you rather tomorrow? Uh, for me tomorrow, teacher, I, I have a problem with my in my workplace tomorrow. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, okay we'll you. be waiting for you. No, okay. no problem. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes, your time has come, my friend. Okay, teacher, I'm so nervous. I will try, okay? Yeah, after Carla is difficult. You know, she did a very good presentation. The same as Luis Mario. It's hard, it's hard. Oh, and Gabriel at the beginning. So the bar is high for you. Do it, let's do it. <laughs> I don't have right now, nothing. Okay. I will, I will speak about uh, not so distant memories. I will talk in to you about memories, memories of the ministry, memories of uh, especially two, two missionary stints. Okay, um, like you know, I am a pastor in a countryside and I have part-time in the country, in the city, so sorry, in the city. I have a part-time in the city and in this, in this time, in, in this year, when when this thing happened, I worked other part time in an organization, an ONG called Christ for the City International. And these two peoples was um, where was what were sent sent. Uh, from 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 they from them sent from them okay and i remember what uh, a few years ago we had the visit from uh, one uh, from a women ministry team no a women's missionary team from a church uh, the church was um, Riverburn Church in in Austin, Texas. I remember them because uh, because they work worked in in a mothers in the celebration of Mother's Day, and they and and they work a lot with with women. They have a beautiful time, a really beautiful time with them with women from the church in the countryside. It was wonderful because the, the memories is that when, when we are talking about a restaurant and the waiter, the servers, I remember this story because uh, a, whim, a woman from this team, uh, she, she said uh, something like that. Uh, when the when the waiter come to our table, to. when the waiter came to our table, she said, "Okay, please give me give me a burger, but I don't want meat and I don't want bread." Ah, uh, how is that? Said the uh, the waiter. And he don't understand that. He, it was so funny. I remember what everybody in, in the table laughing, laughing because because she uh, because her Makina, I remember her name is Makina Gillette. She tell she she told no, I don't like I don't like bread because uh, I am intolerant to the to the bread, and I don't, and I am, 
vegetarians. I don't I don't eat meat. And why you why you why you ask for for a burger? You can ask for a salad, said everybody. And, and then she said, okay, give me the salad, but I want a burger because I love the sauce with the burgers. <laughs> is that it was so funny, really? And that is the memories. And then we, we finished the, the journey, traveling at maybe 10, 10 p.m. We left them uh, at the hotel and we go home. The other, the other time we was... Went, we, went uh, we went to home. We went at home. We went to home. home. Ah, we went home. Okay. The other time, I remember that because I learned a lot of that. Uh, remember, in this, in this, um, in these times, in those times, I don't speak English. My English was um, at the time. At that, at that time. At that time, I, I, uh, my English was. Uh, more broken very what very low um, very low it's okay my english was very low and and i don't understand that they are speaking i didn't, I didn't understand what they uh, they was were. speaking they, they were. were they were speaking uh, that is right the situation is that we okay. receive. Hmm? Continue, continue. I'm sorry. Uh, the situation is that um, we receive a family team. The team was was complete for for a family's group, a father, mother, and some some children from this organization, right, for the city, and they was working where and they were working in the community and uh, walking walking through through the community giving uh, food bags uh, praying for the, the the other families and knowing um the church the project and other thing in the church uh, the, the situation is is that i don't understand any word no no word nothing. i didn't understand i didn't understand nothing any word and the translator maybe maybe was lost i don't know what happened in this case because in dinner in dinner is right when we have dinner when we have dinner when we had dinner, we had a conversation with all the people, all of them, with all of them. And they told me, what are your projects? What you are doing? And they, they uh, told me that. And I explained other things that we did in this moment. And uh -huh, yes, in this moment. And then in the finish of the story, for long story short, when I pass in the minute, okay, and and they said, okay, so one of them I don't remember him name. He told me, okay, man, you remember you you remember to me when I was. Do you oh, if you remind me. You remind me when I was a young man. I I have a fire in my feet. I, I remember this word because the translator uh, told me that. I remember that, and we speak uh, speak with all of them. Maybe a few minutes. I don't remember how many. And how much? how much i don't remember how much and then they they uh, they wanted 
Give me the floor of the playground. And I don't understood. And, and the I didn't translate. understand. Oh, and I didn't understand. The translator don't, don't know, give me the ideas that the other people can give me, can tell me, can send me. And it was so difficult. And then I said, no, man, you have to learn English. You don't, you could, you couldn't depend from a translator. You have to learn. And I learned that. I learned that I have to learn. It, that is the situation. That is the two stories that I want to share with you today. Number one. Never ask for a burger without meat and without bread. Better, better ask for a salad. And second, we have to learn, not depend of other one. That is the situation. That is my stories. Okay, perfect, very well done. Thank Even you. though you went a little bit over hell with the time, but it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I'm a pastor, so sorry. No problem, no problem. Let's see, guys. Well, 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 well. We have, uh, well, uh, very well done. Oh, I'm sorry, we are meeting one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Antonio Rodas is mad at me because I was forgetting him. Yes, Antonio, please. It's your time, your moment. Okay, teacher. Uh, I'm not uh, now prepared, teacher, but I, I'm trying. Oh, if, if you want, you okay. can do it tomorrow. Uh, let me think. You can do it tomorrow. We got time. Okay, give me time, please, because I, I don't okay. have time, teacher. Perfect, perfect. We can do it tomorrow, no problem. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Teacher. Yes, tell me. I have a question. Yeah, sure. Um, when you have to say, when you want to say que, que le falta algo, que le falta alguien, por ejemplo, for example, uh, falta, aún falta uno en el microbús, por ejemplo, o todavía me falta. There's still one tarea. missing. There's still one missing. Missing, like with extrañar. Mm, missing. Ok, ese es cuando, cuando quiero decir que me falta algo, incluso cosas o personas. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, we are, we are still missing a couple of activities for this class. Falta un poco de actividades para las clases. Yeah. Ok. Thank you. Copy it. Copy it. Okay, perfect, no problem, no problem. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, let's see, let me share a little bit of the explanation of how to use will. This is something that we are going to see in, in uh, let's say, Monday, Monday, yeah. But let me explain a little bit beforehand so you can have it because in the, in the platform you will work with it. How to use will. Okay, remember that will is the auxiliary that we use in order to express future. We are talking about the simple future, simple future tense. We use will to make predictions. Uh, like to say what you believe 
And this is very important. What you believe will happen in the future. Like, uh, I think it will, it will rain tonight, but I mean, I think I'm just making a prediction. I'm not sure because I haven't even gone out and looked at the sky. Just because it is hot, I think it will rain tonight. I think a fire check will come to the event. We are not sure, just a prediction. The manager will prepare a new training for hot. That's a prediction. Also, it is used for decisions that you make spontaneously at the time when you are speaking. Consumers are complaining about slow service. I will talk to the staff. That's a decision that was taken right in the moment the person is talking. Okay. Uh, that server just spilled the soup on the customer. I will call the manager. Another example could be like, imagine that you are passing, you are walking or driving, and then you see the supermarket and you say, hmm, I will pass to the supermarket to buy something. It wasn't planned. You decided on the moment, on the spot, okay? It was spontaneous. That, in those situations, you use will. Also, you use it when you make a promise or to offer help to someone. I will be there at 9 a.m. I will help you prepare the documents for the training. Uh, Magdaleno, I will help you with the problem you have with the platform at the end of the class. It's a promise. It's an offer. Okay. Questions about this? No. Okay. Now let's go back to what we are doing right now. Okay, we are here. Building vocabulary. I'm sorry, guys. This is the exercise that I was giving you the order yesterday. That's the exercise we are going to do. Page number 34, building vocabulary. We have to match these terms related to training and personal development to their meanings. Okay. So we got goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, qualifications. And we got here a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job, an estimation of income and expense, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person, the process of improving the performance of an employee, a desired result or possible outcome, an irregular balance of what a person should know. Okay, guys, that's what you are going to do. You need to do the matching. You need to place the number according to the correct order. Uh, so that means that right about now, I'm going to recreate the groups. Too many people. Groups are created. Let's see. And you're going to be sent to working groups and do the match.
Hello, Rosalina, Hello. Ivania. Hello. Hi, Orlando. Okay, there you are. So, guys, you need to do the, the matching, okay? You can you can share your info or the order, perhaps if not here and the audio, you can use the, the Zoom chat. Performance of employee. Okay, why? Number one, o sea, call the process of improving, improv, improving the performance of all and employees. No, no, no. no. Mm. It's a desired result as possible outcome. I consider is that. Conocimiento, conocimiento. Okay, this is this can be number 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 one. A quality that makes someone sweet sweet able for a particular job. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm, ¿Cuál? Ah, es la primera. Uh -huh, yeah. yes. A quality. Yes. Yo diría que para, para mí es un balance que una persona debería saber. A mm. balance. Sí, es, está entre esas dos. Uh, in regular balance, uh -huh. what a person should know should know vaya pero ajá uh, falta vamos al coaching cuál se para hacer más a coaching 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 is the process of improving the performance of an employee 
-huh. Just we have, just we have feedback and qualification. 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 Mm -hmm. Feedback is a uh, is similar to comentarios, teacher. Feedback, retroalimentación. Oh. Clarification, tal vez sería una estimación, una estimación. Mm. Calificación podría ser uh, helpful information. Qualifications, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. No, uh -huh. La número uno sería qualification. Okay. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds. Okay, in sixty seconds, they are coming back. Okay, hey, let's see, everybody's coming back. Everybody's coming back. And let's see. Okay, guys, let's do it fast because we still got one more activity to do. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, number one, goal. What is the goal, uh, Gabriel? Number one. Okay, okay. Num number one, goal. Um... Uh, desired result or possible outcome. Okay, number Go one, ahead. perfect. A desired result or possible outcome. Excellent. Okay. Number two, feedback, uh, Ivania. Hello, teacher. Number two, feedback. Is this one, look, this is number two. Would you mind reading, Ivania, please, for the letter? Oh, perhaps having trouble. Uh, Luis Mario, would you mind reading number two? Yes, teacher. As a helpful information or criticisms about the performance of a person. 
Excellent, great. Number three, budget. That one goes to uh, 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 man. Carlos Antonio. An estimation of income and expenses. That's correct. Uh, Antonio Rodas, number four, knowledge gap. Antonio Rodas. I, I, I am a little confused, teacher, because I want thinking about, about helpful information or this one about the permanent things of a person. Knowledge hey, gap. When you got, when you talk about the knowledge gap, you are talking about an space that is empty in the knowledge. So in this case, when you say a knowledge gap, you're saying an irregular balance of what a person should know. Lo que debería saber, but that's a no. That means that has a gap. There's something missing. Okay? Okay, teacher. So number five goes to... Uh, uh, mm, let's see. Marlon, Marlon, you got number five. Hi, teacher. Number five. Coaching. Coaching. The process of improving the per performance of an employee. That's perfect. And number six, qualifications. Please, Orlando, read it for us. A quality that makes someone, I don't know how to say that word, Suitable. Suitable for a particular job. Okay. Yes. So we got them like this. Uh, goal, a desired result or possible outcome. Feedback, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Budget, an estimation of income and expenses. Knowledge gap, an irregular balance of what a person should know. Coaching, the process of improving the performance of an employee and qualifications, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. And that's the order. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, guys, we got here. Identify training opportunities for personal. Label the description of the process with the right heading. Okay, this is going to be a homework for you because uh, it's a little bit big and we don't have enough time to do it. So this one, we will do it tomorrow. So please read it, analyze it, and we are going to solve it tomorrow during the class. Okay. I'm sending it to you so you can have it. Remember, that one is homework. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see. In the interim, let's see, Carlos Antonio. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Tell me, if you were given a choice between great wisdom, intelligence, or great wealth, uh, which would you choose? I misunderstood, I'm sorry. Okay, the question is as follows. If you were given a choice, you can choose, you got two options. Okay. First option, great wisdom, intelligence, mm -hmm. sabiduría, yeah. or great, second option, great wealth, money. 
Which one okay. would you choose? I will choose great wisdom. Okay, now tell me why. Because if we got great wisdom, we're going to invest in something that that will will give give us money. Because you already got the the great wisdom is better than money. The the yeah. Okay, excellent. Yes, teacher. Let's see, Orlando. What about you? What would you do? What would you choose, and why? Orlando Nunez. Sorry, teacher. I have some issue with the connection right now. What was the question? Sorry. The same question. If you were given a choice between great wisdom or way or great wealth, which would you choose? Ah, uh, it's a complicated question. Probably wisdom because, uh, well, it's a principle of the in the Bible that is teaching too much. Uh, to the people around the world so if you are a wisdom person you can uh, make a lot of good decisions through all your life so that's mean for example if you have a million dollars and you will have a life that will be uh, engaged for example, with God, if you choose the second option, you will have more than one million dollars probably at the end of your life. So you can buy wisdom, of course, but you can choose that principle because that will help you to be a better person in your life and with the person around you and you will learn too much of it and you will teach to a lot of people as well okay. and that those people probably at the end will appreciate that um i don't know how to say aprendizaje learning learning and that's it i i at the 100 percent i choose uh, to be a wisdom person. A wise person. A wise. A wise. Thank you. Thank you. A wise person. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much. Oh my You're gosh, welcome. I was going to keep on asking people, but it's been already. Wow. A very nice class, guys. I'm very grateful for you, for your participation. That makes, believe me, you make my job so easy sometimes. And I am really grateful for that. Let's see. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias, say present, please. Present, please. I mean, present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. You are very, very, very obedient, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Thank you, Carlos. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza, Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina, Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino, Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Yes, sir. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Carla Listet García Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. 
Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Thank you, Rosalina. Vilma Echeseni Alvarenga. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomar Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present teacher. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Well, guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Teacher, quick question. Don't forget the homework. Yes. Tell tomorrow will be my turn to talk about my topic, right? Yep. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. You are up for tomorrow. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. Magdaleno, you stay with me, right? Just give me a minute, please. Okay. Uh -huh, my friend, which exercise, which number? Your microphone. Okay, teacher, is the number 2.11. Okay. The number two, number three, and number five. Let me see, let me see. This thing is to kill. Oh. 2.11, you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, one second. This thing is loading, and I don't know why it's slow. I hate when that happens. 2.11. That, that got two parts, okay? You are talking about part number one, right? Yeah, the number, exercise number two. Two and number oh. three and number five. Number two, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Would you okay, like me to would... text it for you? Let's do something. Let's do something. Okay. Can you copy paste? Okay, okay. Um I'm working at that. I wouldn't it be. Copy. Paste. Number three. Okay. Number three, three. is, it will be good if we change it the dress code. Okay. It will be good if we change out the dress code. Ah, dress. <laughs> I wrote desert. Okay, I don't know how you came with desert. <laughs> Uh, really, really. Okay, <laughs> number two, number three, and number so, five. Five, I imagine. Yeah, number five. Okay, yeah, five. There's a little, a little tiny mistake, something that they forgot in the platform when they were preparing the material. And it's that okay. somebody made a typo and they type on a space. Copy, paste. Okay. You see, there's one space after the word is tied between the word and the and the question mark. Oh yeah. Okay, copy. Okay. Okay. Is finished. Progress. 
Okay, we're finished. That's it. Yeah. It's just that. I finished the platform. Okay, perfect. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> okay. It's only that my question, teacher. Really, thank okay. you. So thank you. No, so thank no. you for your help. I'm here to help. Have a good night. Right. Thank you, teacher. Good night.